At E3, or 343, at E3 we announced that on November 11th, for the first time ever, you could play Master Chief's entire story on a single console with Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Including Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4, the Master Chief Collection is a nostalgic tribute to his past, but also introduces new ways to play Halo on Xbox One. In addition to celebrating the past, we wanted to lay the foundation for the future with new story and a sneak peek at some of our future gameplay. So included in the Master Chief Collection is Halo Nightfall, our live action digital series from executive producer Ridley Scott and director Sergio Mimica Kazan. Nightfall introduces Agent Locke, who plays a key role in Halo 5 Guardians. And on December 29th, we begin a three-week preview of one of our new multiplayer experiences in the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. Halo is set in a rich and deep universe, filled with stories and characters. It's a universe that encourages exploration in our games, our novels, our comics, our live action. At 343, it has long been a goal of ours to bring every Halo experience together into a single destination. So this fall, to coincide with the release of the Master Chief Collection, we're thrilled to announce a brand new way to immerse yourself in our universe, the Halo Channel. This is your home for Halo. <laughs> The Halo Channel is an all-new interactive digital network on Xbox One and Windows, giving users the ability to watch original content like Halo Nightfall, explore the universe, or seamlessly join friends across any game on Xbox One. And as part of the Halo Channel experience, we're excited to announce our partnership with Twitch, which allows you to seamlessly integrate and amplify everything you do in Halo, from competitive multiplayer matches to speedruns and beyond. And of course, from the Halo channel, you can launch and play the Master Chief Collection. Please welcome Dan Ayub, 343's executive producer, to uh, demo the game. <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. We're thrilled to give fans a new way to relive their favorite memories of Halo 1 through 4. The Master Chief Collection comes with all content unlock, curated playlists, and over 100 multiplayer maps all on a single disc. <laughs> now, November is the 10 year anniversary of Halo 2, and we're working hard to bring the game into the modern console era. Now, we showed you a quick glimpse of multiplayer at E3, but today we wanted to give you a first look at the remastered Halo 2 anniversary campaign with a playthrough of one of my favorite levels, Delta Halo. So, Dennis is going to drive for us. You all set, Dennis? All right. So, we're starting here in classic mode. This is how the game looked 10 years ago. Everyone remember that? 
Let's see how it looks today with some of our magic. <laughs> got another contact. Yeah, this is a fun feature, but we're going to stay in uh, new mode for the sake of the rest of this demo. So we're going to run through, and you can see some of the work we've done to it. You can hear that new audio as well. And what Dennis is showing you uh, right now is some of the things with the rocket launcher. You've got that lock-on mode, which was really key and unique to Halo 2. And, you know, what's important to note about that, despite the changes we made to this game, the audio changes, the graphical changes, how much smoother it is at 60 frames per second, the game still plays exactly as you remember 10 years ago. That has been kept intact throughout the entirety of the experience. So you're able to relive all of those great memories you've had of this game, but now in a completely next-gen experience. So we're gonna run up the, uh, the rest of the valley here. And again, you can just catch the, the smoothness again of 60 frames per second, the great lighting, the great graphics. We've just had a tremendous amount of fun bringing this game to you, and I can't wait for you guys to see some more of this in November. Thanks, Dennis. Now, yeah. <laughs> now at E3, we promised to share a little more info with you guys as to how we're approaching the ranking system in the Master Chief Collection. And the fans were very vocal about how much they loved the ranking system in Halo 2. So I'm pleased to announce that the Master Chief Collection will feature a skill-based ranking system with identical leveling to Halo 2. Finally, we wanted to do something special for you here at Gamescom. So this week, for the first time, you'll be able to play two of our reimagined Halo 2 anniversary multiplayer maps included in the Master Chief Collection on the floor. Ascension, which we announced at E3, as well as another returning favorite. I'm pleased to tell you our fourth reimagined Halo 2 multiplayer map will be the Legendary Sanctuary. Now, we know you love esports here in Ger Germany, so we thought we'd have a little fun with the help of our friends at Twitch with a little multiplayer competition. We brought in some of the best Halo players on the planet and captured all of the action and its intensity on Sanctuary. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sanctuary. Hey everybody, we're really excited to be showing off the brand new Halo 2 anniversary map reveal, Sanctuary. I'm Bravo and with me is Alex Golden Boy Mendez. We're also joined by some of the best professional Halo players in the world. Walshy, Strongside, Flamesword, and Pistola. I'm really excited to show off Sanctuary for the first time. Alex, it's a classic Halo map. Yeah, it's a map that old school Halo fans absolutely love. And luckily we have four incredible players here to show off the map. So what we're gonna do, take these four guys, split them up into two teams, have them play a quick match to five, and see what happens. All right, let's hop into the match. Teams for the match are going to be Walshy and Strongside going up against Pistola and Flamesword. And we're starting things off here with Flamesword's point of view as he pushes down to the middle of the map. Now remember, Bravo, one thing you want to do is deny the enemy team possession of the rockets off the break. So Flamesword did a great job of that. But jumping over to Strongside here, who has a sniper rifle, he's going to miss two shots, sending one nade forward. Can't quite find the other one as well. But there is going to be a player pushing ring one. Yeah, it looks like that's Flamesword who snuck ring one. He's going to try to grab that rocket launcher and actually does steal the rocket launcher, misses the first rocket on Strongside and pushes him back. Yeah, and oh, tried to go for the quick scope there, couldn't quite find it. But jumping back to Flamesword now, who actually has the rockets. He waits two to four, finds one there. That's going to make it one to zero for the double oh. catch. And he's able to get it, making the score two to one. And now switching gears over to Strongside, who's off the respawn. Just over a minute left, and as you said, his team is down by one. Immediately pushing towards the middle of the map. I like what he's doing here with his ring three vantage point. Oh, I couldn't agree more with you, Bravo. Here he's going to find one player down the bottom. Perfect nade placement, able to take him out. And can he line up the double kill? Oh. Yes, he can, making it. 3-2, to two, red team in the lead. And now switching over to Pistola. One minute left on the clock, but his team is down by one kill, so he wants to slow things down just a bit. Needs to coordinate an attack with Flamesword as they push towards the middle of the map. Putting some shots down on Walshy, but does get sniped from the right side. That's going to force him to drop down. Let's switch over to Strongside, who has the sniper rifle. Yeah, and with that said, he has the game in his hands as well. 3-2 to two is the score. Let's see what Strongside and Walshy can do here as they have control of the center of the map. There is going to be a player, though. Ring 2 finding one, oh. two swift body shots, and that's going to make it 4-3. to three. Strongside can shut the game down. Oh, and he hits a no-scope for the win. Game over. Incredible game with a great no scope from strong side to end it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Sanctuary. For the first time, we have Ascension and Sanctuary playable on the show floor in the Xbox booth. 
In addition, we're partnering with ESL to do a Halo 2, tur Halo 2 anniversary tournament in the eSports Hall. So come to join us for both. Last but not least, we wanted to give an update about what we've been thinking about for Halo 5 Guardians Beta. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the Master Chief Collection this November. Having a beta this early in development is crucial because it gives us as developers the opportunity to react to the feedback that we get from fans and actually take that into account as we're continuing to complete the multiplayer experience for Halo 5 Guardians. The focus of the beta is going to be on 4v4 arena gameplay, which is really, you know, getting back to that legacy of competitive gameplay that's always been at the heart of, of Halo's multiplayer. Halo's always been a great competitive game. That, that old school feeling of what is arena shooters, four players in each team, controlling weapons on map, controlling the map itself, your teammates being in the right position. The beta will run from December 29th through January 18th for a period of three weeks. We have seven maps, we have three modes, 11 sandbox weapons that are gonna be included, and seven armor sets that you'll be able to customize your partner with. Looking at small maps that are really tailored to 4v4 combat. We've also got fair start, so what that means is no one's going to have a different loadout than the other person. Every member of red team is going to be the same as every member of the blue team. We've got 60 frames per second, which is going to be awesome. Just a blistering pace, and we're going to have dedicated servers. All these things are really going to support our goals for fostering that, that competitive gameplay. We want the Halo channel to be this great complimentary experience with the beta. So it's not just for us to be able to push entertainment to you, it's also for the viewer and the player to kind of give information back to us. So we'll be running all of this programming leading up into the beta and throughout the beta, but you'll also be able to unlock some things in the beta that you'll actually things in the beta that you'll actually be able to carry forward into Halo 5 Guardians. Anytime you're putting something out there that you're working so hard on, it's always nerve-wracking to have the first time anybody gets hands-on with that experience, um, but it's also invigorating. And so we're all just really excited to get online and play with the fans and hear their feedback to, to help make Halo 5 Guardians the best game it can possibly be.